19 Lancasters, 8 were lost, along with 53 of the 143 aircrew who were sent out. However, Operation Chastise breached with the documentary of that name, looking in particular at operations from East Anglian shores. Squadron. 
was delivered to that unit by the great Dicker Supermarine Test Pilot. The Hurricane's get out of the by one of the air transport auxiliaries, famous female pilots, Diana Barnata, in being among the Spitfires that flew in the making of Battle of Britain, and now running in from the left. Here they come together once again, Spitfire Lines, MH434 and MH415.
to the German aggressor, it's often the felt and outnumbered by the Luftwaffe, even when our air aircraft in France were added in. <laughs> Oh, I did. Yeah, I did. I did that one. Don't Can't delete it now. so as to achieve stereoscopic imagery. It was a pretty advanced fit for the day. And that was before the contributions of Cotton's assistant photographer, so crucial to the outcome of World War II. What was crucial was that the Atlantic was the source of food, ammunition and equipment uh, from across the Atlantic, from America to the UK. If that lifeline was severed, then it would be game over so far as uh, Britain was concerned. When we talk about the Battle of the Atlantic, what are we talking about? We're talking about the merchant ships that were getting attacked by submarines, but not only submarines, but by ships, battleships, such as the Bismarck, in which this particular aircraft represents the, uh, the attack on the Bismarck by sword. And of course, one of the main problems for the Allies early in the Battle of the Atlantic, and we'll come on to this the Catalina, was what was known as the Mid-Atlantic Gap. Yes, that's right. The, um, right, the, the Mid-Atlantic Gap was exactly that. The, the aircraft that we were using did not have the range to cover the whole of the Atlantic, so there was this big hole in the middle. This is where submarines and ships would be attacked because they would be attacked uh, with impunity basically. As far as the swordfish was concerned, this was for again increasing the bank and tipping back in towards us.
I'm sorry, man. Alexander Cartelli, and the result was an aeroplane that weighs seven tons, which is an awful lot for a single seat, single engine fighter. It became a great aeroplane. It wasn't at the outset. The design was still being perfected. In its first conference, they changed the canopy layout to this bubble configuration we see here, and the P-47 in the European theatre became Oh my god! 